Hello St. John's, this is Chris Roussel. Today is Thursday, January 7th, 2021, and this is our weekly update. Uh, today I'm offering a prayer from our Book of Common Prayer. It fa it's found at the bottom of page 823. Please listen closely to the words and pray along with me. Let us pray. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Like you, I was deeply disturbed and troubled yesterday and last night by the images I saw on the news of the events taking place at the U.S. Capitol. I wish that I had some great words of wisdom for you, but it might even be the first time in my life I'm at a loss for words. I will say in my prayer this morning in reflection I've come to walk with many people through the course of their lives who have had a variety of struggles and issues and problems and dark moments. And it always seems that at some point a person reaches rock bottom. And at rock bottom the only way to go is up. I hope and I pray that our nation yesterday hit rock bottom, and that we can put our differences aside and be united by how appalled we all are on both sides of the political aisle at what we witnessed. And by being unified and being appalled, we can start to move forward. In the Christian tradition, we know that there cannot be a resurrection moment. There is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. We have to have the suffering and the pain before we have the redemption and the salvation. My hope and my prayer is that today, this beautiful sunshine that's out here, reminds us that we can move into a resurrection moment after yesterday's events. Uh, some have asked if they could come to the church and pray. You can always come to the church and pray. Um, simply ring the doorbell if it's during office hours and we'll buzz you in, we'll let you in. Um, the church is yours and it's always open, it's always available. So please feel free to come at any time, whether it's uh, scheduled or not scheduled, whether it's in a moment of crisis or not. And you can always call me. Uh, I live right up the road, but I can also uh, let you in, uh, and so can some of our staff, just from our phone. We have a new system that allows us to buzz you in without having to come down here. So please, if you want to come to the church and pray, you are more than welcome, and, and I wholeheartedly encourage you to do that. Brooke and I are currently working out our plans for Lent as we look forward to that uh, season in the church. Um, we are going to offer an adult education forum on Sunday mornings, which we're excited about. Uh, we're also working out plans for Ash Wednesday uh, and figuring out a way to sort of, not sort of, figuring out a way to coordinate um, allowing people to come through and receive ashes on Ash Wednesday. Um, we've got a plan worked out. We're not going to get into the details of it here right now um, because they could potentially change between now and then. But just I invite you to be thinking about that and making plans on your calendar to, um, to come through and receive your ashes on Ash Wednesday. Um, I think that's enough for today. Know that I love you. I care deeply about you. I hope and pray that you and your anxiety, worry, and fear, whether it's about yesterday's events or whether it's about COVID, that you will always turn towards God in your thoughts, in your prayers, and in your hearts. 
I'm here. If you'd like to talk, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. I am willing and able to walk with you through whatever it is that you may be going through or however it is that these events have impacted you and, uh, and your outlook, whether it be uh, spiritually or emotionally. Well, I think I've probably said more than enough today. God bless you. Have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon.